Hello everyone, this is a World Exposure. You know, like a childish game of Clue, I find it outrageously insane that within hours after the shooting of Gabrielle Giffords, that so many ego-driven fools have been so extraordinarily quick to want to be the first person to point their finger at the person or persons they feel is to blame for this tragedy. And they all seem to be pointing their fingers at everyone but the shooter. Even though we know nothing about this shooter, these idiots all seem to know his motive. Tucson's own sheriff, Clarence Dupnick, who is responsible for overseeing this investigation, has already been blaming the media's radio and television talk shows in a press conference. He gave very little credit to his own suspect. Jane Fonda, in her Twitter account, decided to put herself in the spotlight by blaming Sarah Palin, Glenn Beck, and the Tea Party, saying progressive Arizona representative Gabrielle Giffords is shot. In her ads, Sarah Palin had her targeted in a gun sight, inciting to violence. She also stated, misspelling Glenn Beck's name, that Glenn Beck is guilty too. Shame, it must stop. And that Sarah Palin holds responsibility as does the violence-provoking rhetoric of the Tea Party. Terry O'Neill and the National Organization of Women is blaming the right by saying, The National Organization of Women condemns the tragic shooting of Representative Gabrielle Giffords that stole six lives and seriously injured 12 today. We condemn equally the culture of hate and violence increasingly reflected in extreme right-wing opponents of those who support progressive solutions to our country's challenges. Hey, wait a minute, you know, that's strange. The National Organization of Women never condemned the shooter. But then either does Paul Krugman of the New York Times. With no proof, he states, a Democratic Congresswoman has been shot in the head. Another dozen were also shot. We don't have proof yet that this was political, but the odds are that it was. You know that Republicans will yell about the evils of partisanship whenever anyone tries to make a connection between the rhetoric of Beck, Limbaugh, etc., and the violence I fear we're going to see in the months and years ahead. But violent acts are what happen and you create a climate of hate. And it's long past time for the GOP's leaders to make a stand against hate mongers. And also, without any proof, Congressional Representative Linda Lopez, giving an interview with Fox News by phone, blamed the Tea Party for the motive and said that she heard the shooter was an Afghan veteran. Dick Durbin, in an interview with CNN, alluded to Sarah Palin's crosshairs on congressional districts. Also, in an interview on Fox News, James Clyburn blamed Sharon Angle for speaking of seeking Second Amendment remedies if you can't get what you want at the ballot box. And of course, Keith Olbermann, during his stupid report, blamed Glenn Beck, Sarah Palin, and even threw himself in there just to try to justify it. Look, there is no evidence that this shooter was a Sarah Palin supporter or a Tea Party member. There is no evidence that this shooter was even interested or educated enough to have any political motivations of any kind. So why are you all blaming Republicans and the Tea Parties for his motivations? It's for political gain during a time that should be set aside for mourning and you should all be ashamed of yourselves. I could easily say that Gabrielle Giffords was shot because she was Jewish and the shooter said he liked Hitler's book Mein Kampf in which Hitler speaks terribly about the Jews. But there is no evidence of that being his motive. I'm telling you all it's too early and not the proper time to make these haphazard predictions. But I'm sure there'll be more to come.